Hey, how's it going everybody? Tall Tesla guy here. Again, so, you know, let's talk about this a little bit. I wanted to show you guys some of the features with the uh, uh, the new update that came into place. Uh, the With the software version 2020.48.25, which is the one that I got. Um, I talked about it in a previous video, but you guys know I don't have the boombox feature, which is okay, I'm okay with that. Um, I do have all the other features though, and it is kind of neat that they're making these changes though. Elon did, te or did hint that, um, you know, there's more to come. So I, what I think happened, and this is just my opinion, but I feel like maybe, um, you know, the sky was the limit on where they wanted to go with this kind of thing, which is fantastic. I like that he's thinking. I like that he's trying to innovate. However, I think they ran out of time. Uh, I mean, he talked about a hot, 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 hot update. He even used two fire emojis. When he talked about the, um, you know, kind of update on updated status on it, he only used one and a half. I mean, I'm, I'm taking that as, as maybe... Um, you know, they didn't get all the features in there that they wanted. And I know there was some other stuff that they said or that we kind of thought in the community that they were gonna put in there that's just not in there. But they did do a complete redesign of the, um, you know, the screen, the, the display of the car. Uh, you know, there's some driving stuff that changed. You guys know about the boom box. People are kind of in a, in a love it or hate it, almost like the Cybertruck design with the boom box because, um, you know, basically what it's doing is, uh, you know, it's a it's a pedestrian warning system. So it, it basically tells uh, pedestrians around you that the that the super quiet car is creeping up on you, uh, and I get that. Um, however, it's not like it's silent completely, but it is pretty quiet. So you know, if, if it's a safety feature, I'm all about it. Um, you know, people are showing it that you can actually play the music from the car through the speaker. You know, that's pretty neat too, and it, it seems kind of like a Easter eggy sort of gimmicky kind of thing. But you know, nonetheless, I think it's kind of cool. And then on top of that, people were using it to um, you know Santa mode they play the Christmas music through it and you can even put uh, you know four or five of your own types of music through there which is kind of neat or people thought you could uh, you know some of the stuff with the games in there you know comes into play when you're stopped some of the stuff with the uh, you know navigation we still don't have waypoints yet even though Elon hinted that we were gonna get them uh, you know so stuff like that still hasn't come yet but I'm thinking that it's coming down the road so let's take a look at it really quick I wanted to kind of jump into it and kind of show you as you guys can see, I mean, this part of the screen has definitely changed. You can see the design of the car. It's facing, it's more of a facing kind of view. I think what he's doing is getting us ready for the bird's eye view, which is not here yet, but should be coming. So you can kind of see that the car is facing me here. And when I do put it into drive, it turns around, which it did before. However, what you're seeing is, is a larger view. And in fact, in there, that's that infotainment screen I can see that you can see there. Once you start moving it, it tilts down a little bit. You can see it even better. So, you know, that's definitely there. I mean, this stuff here being on the side instead of on the top, my regen is on the top there. My battery indicator is on the top. It's more a little bit to the corner than it used to be. And then they've moved some of the stuff down here around a little bit. So my camera view is actually here. Music is there. It used to be over there a little bit. Windshield wiper icon is right there on the screen, which is kind of nice. My previous use stuff. Uh, my he This is kind of odd a little bit. It's moved over slightly, that being that my heating and, and cooling stuff is, is kind of over there. Now I'm gonna have to reach a little bit further, but I'm 6'5", as you guys know, so I don't mind about that at all. And then of course the passenger control of the sound as well. So, you know, that's kind of there. This release view indicator, you know, talks about it, how it's listed right there. We kind of talked about this in a previous video too, but I mean, there's some of the other stuff here. Now they call it driver visualization improvements. Like I said, I don't mind. I mean, I like that blue car there even too. Mine's of course midnight gray, but you can kind of still see everything there and it's not gonna block my view of the speedometer. So I'm not upset about that kind of thing. I do like the scheduled departure sort of thing. So before I used to be able to schedule a departure and it would kind of sync the timing of the, the charging of the battery to that sort of thing. You know, if I wanted to leave at eight in the morning, it would make sure my charging was done by eight in the morning. However, I still had to go in there and manually turn on the climate. I don't know if that was something to do with my release that I had previous to this, but ever since I've gotten the car, I've always had to go in there about 7.30, turn on the climate so I could leave at eight o'clock. The cab would be warm, it would warm up my battery and stuff 
stuff like that. Well, now they have the ability to schedule the departure for a time, but it also kind of warms the cabin for you, gets it ready to go, which is kind of nice. A supercharger improvements right off the front of the screen is going to tell you how many stalls are involved or how many stalls are available and kind of what condition of the charges, which is fantastic. And that's something that uh, they didn't have before. Now, I don't use supercharging a lot, but I can see that if you did, it would be, be super important. And then, of course, vehicle information. It's going to have, uh, I don't mind that they moved the Tesla T around a little bit. Um, I, I didn't go into there often anyway. It, it doesn't, uh, you know, it, it gave me software information. Now it's going to be in the uh, actual car visualization once you get into there to be able to see it. Um, it I don't, I don't mind that. Um, I like I said, I seldom had it there. It's still got my, you know, Century mode. It's still got my, um, you know, phone connection, my Bluetooth, the passenger. I mean, everything is still kind of there. So being that my car is up to date, I mean, it's still got everything that I need there. You know, one of the bigger features of it too, though, is going to be toy box. You're going to kind of find everything that you had before. You know, normally, or you would have the boom box on the top if you, if it's something that uh, your car has. Mine doesn't have the speaker, so I don't have it there. Coming into entertainment is a couple of new things that they put in there, a couple of new games, Cat Quest, Solitaire, Polytopia. One of the neat things or kind of odd things about Cat Quest, you have to actually have to use an external uh, you know, remote control to play that or a controller. Uh, now I don't have that, but um, you know, people, um, you can use a PlayStation controller even for it, but I, I don't know as though that'll be a super used game just because of that kind of thing. Solitaire is kind of nice, and then it's got all the standard games that you had before. You know, that kind of thing is neat. It's neat that they have that in there, but one of the functionalities that is kind of neat, I suppose, is that you can actually play the game while you're driving. Now, not as the driver, because it specifically says, are you the driver, yes or no? And if you put in there that you are the passenger, it will let you play. So, I mean, I, I guess they're getting ready for full self-driving to say like, hey, uh, down the road, full self-driving cars driving for you as the driver you can play the game while you're on a long road trip but currently you cannot now and it is not safe to obviously so you wouldn't be doing something like that but you know outside of that i mean it's still got all the camera angles it's still got all the views you guys can see my messy garage which is kind of neat or not it's got the um you know consumption charts obviously my consumption is pretty bad but i've been only driving local and not even on highways you know that kind of stuff is is sort of neat i mean it's it's all the same essentially as it was before so that part of it didn't really change much they talked about putting in um uh the feature the functionality to turn the blinker on and then the side camera would come on there's there was no reason not to it's not in there yet but similar to waypoints they haven't done it yet so you know it, i mean this is the the kind of stuff that we were talking about before with it just being the the, the scheduled departure so you know, I kind of wanted you guys to see some of that stuff. I mean, it's just, I'm diving into more of it. I'm going to jump out on the road a little bit later on today, and I'll, I'll kind of do some shots on that so you can sort of see it. I'll give you my guys my opinion on, on the functionality of once we get to that point. But, you know, all in all, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the design. I'm not going to be one of those people that just tear it down and bash it up. I know they're going to make changes to it. I know they're going to make adjustments to it as they move forward. So it just becomes one of those things that... Uh, that uh, you know they're going to constantly be improving on. Um, I don't mind it the way that it is. I didn't mind it the way that it was before, and I'm sure I'll be uh, happy with this as well. So, you know, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, week, month, you know, whatever it is. I hope you're managing as best you can during 2020. I know it's been a tough year for a lot of people coming into 2021. You know, we have the sky's the limit on where we can take it. So, I hope you guys are having uh, a safe, happy holiday season, any way that you can spend it, and uh, have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, guys.